Heightsbury is a village, formerly considered to be a town, and a civil parish in Wiltshire, England. The village lies on the north bank of the Wiley, about 312 miles, 5.6 kilometers, southeast of the town of Warminster. The civil parish includes most of the small neighboring settlement of Titherington and the deserted village of Imber. Chalk Downland north of Heightsbury Village has prehistoric earthworks including long barrows and round barrows. Strip lynchets are visible north and east of Copley Hill. The parish lies between the Iron Age hill forts of Scratchberry Camp and Nook Castle. A Romano British settlement has been identified on Titherington Hill, in the far south of the parish. Chapperton Down, west of Imber, has evidence of settlement and field systems from the same period and earlier. The Doomsday Book of 1086 recorded a small settlement of eight households at Hestream, with a church. The Hundred of Heightsbury, south and east of Warminster, comprised 17 places. The Hungerford family held land at Heightsbury by the 1390s and reared sheep in the surrounding area in the next century. Family members include Walter Hungerford, 1st Baron Hungerford of Heightsbury. John Marius Wilson's Imperial Gazetteer of England and Wales, 1870-1872, described Heightsbury as follows. Heightsbury, a small town, a parish, a subdistrict, and a hundred, in Wilts. The town stands on the River Wiley, and on the Somerset and Weymouth Railway, near Salisbury Plain, four miles SE by E of Warminster, was known, to the Saxons, as Hagtriedsbury took afterwards the names of Haresbury, Haysbury, and Heightsbury, is now commonly called Hatchbury, was, in the time of Stephen, the residence of the Empress Maud, was, in 1766, nearly all destroyed by fire, and afterwards rebuilt, consists now chiefly of a single street, possesses interest to tourists as the central point of a region abounding in British, Roman, Saxon, and Danish remains, and gives the title of Baron to the family of Acourt. It sent two members to Parliament from the time of Henry VI till disfranchised by the Act of 1832, was a borough by prescription, and is now a seat of court's leet. It has a post office under Bath, a railway station, two chief inns, a church, an independent chapel, a national school, and an endowed hospital. The church dates from the 12th century, was partly rebuilt in 1470, underwent a thorough restoration in 1866, at an expense of about £5,500 is cruciform, has a massive tower, and contains the burial place of the eight courts, and a tablet to Cunningham, the antiquary. The hospital was founded in 1470, by Lady Hungerford, for a chaplain, twelve poor men, and one poor woman, was rebuilt in 1769, forms three sides of a square, two stories high, and has an endowed income of £1,373. A weekly market was formerly held and two fairs are still held on May 14 and September 25. The parish comprises 3,380 acres. Real property, 4,713 pounds. Pop, in 1841, 1,311, in 1861, 1,103. Houses, 237. The manor belonged to the Burgesses and passed to the Badelsmaters, the Hungerfords, the Hastingses, and others. Heightsbury House, the seat of Lord Heightsbury, is on the end side of the town, was partially rebuilt about 1784, contains a fine collection of pictures, and stands in a well-wooded park. Copley Hill rises from the woods of the park, commands a very fine panoramic view, is crowned by a tumulus, and was anciently fortified. Nook Castle, Scratchberry Camp, Golden Barrow, and many other antiquities are in the neighborhood. The living is a vicarage, united with the vicarage of Nook in the Diocese of Salisbury. Value, £350. Patron, the Bishop of Salisbury. The sub-district contains also 11 other parishes and is in Warminster District. Acres, 27,546. Pop, 4,372. Houses, 946. The hundred contains 13 parishes and part of another. Acres, 33,040. Pop, 5,572. Houses, 1,209. Between 1449 and 1832, Heightsbury was a parliamentary borough, returning two members of parliament. An elementary school was provided in 1838, immediately southwest of the church. By 1858 there were 50 to 60 pupils and 40 to 50 infants. The school moved to a new site, off the high street west of the church, in 1900, 
and came under Wilpshire County Council control in the early years of that century. Children of all ages attended until 1931 when those over 11 transferred to the New Avenue's Senior School at Warminster. The school continues to serve Heightsbury and Titherington as Heightsbury Coffee Primary School. A church was mentioned in history in the Doomsday Book of 1086 and became a collegiate church in the 12th century. The present parish church is from the 13th century and is a grade I listed building. At Titherington, a chapel was founded in the 12th century. The small church of St. James is mainly from the 16th and is grade 2 asterisk listed. St. Giles Church, Inver, dates from the late 13th century and is a grade I listed building. It is now a redundant church in the care of the Church's Conservation Trust. A congregational chapel was built in Heightsbury Village in 1812 and replaced circa 1868. The chapel closed sometime after 1955. There was a primitive Methodist chapel at Titherington. Elizabeth Whiteville, 1437-1492, wife of Edward IV, mother of Elizabeth of York and the two murdered princes, was probably exiled or housed at the East Manor with Elizabeth of York and her four sisters, following the sudden illness and subsequent death of Edward IV. The antiquary William Cunnington, 1754-1810, was of Heightsbury, and investigated many prehistoric sites on the Downs. Heightsbury House was built for the Ash Court family. Sir William Acourt was created a baronet in 1795 and the baronry of Heightsbury was created in 1828 for his son, also Sir William. The poet Siegfried Sassoon spent the latter part of his life at Heightsbury House, which he purchased in 1933. His son George Sassoon grew up there and inherited the house on his father's death in 1967. He lived there until 1996, when it was sold. Major General Glenn Gilbert, 1920 to 2003, settled at Heightsbury. Heightsbury House, a country house rebuilt in 1782, is Grade Two asterisk listed. In 1985 the southern part of the park surrounding the house was the subject of a compulsory purchase order to allow construction of the A36 bypass, separating the house from its cricket field and requiring a new entrance to be made from the west. The gate piers and curved flanking walls at the former southern entrance, from the early 19th century, are still standing. In the early 21st century the house and stables were converted into several residences. The Hospital of St. John and St. Catherine was founded in 1442 by Walter Hungerford, first Baron Hungerford and re in 1472 by Margaret, widow of his son Robert. The almshouse provided housing for 12 poor unmarried men and one woman, who was responsible for domestic duties, under the oversight of a chaplain or warden appointed by the Chancellor of Salisbury Cathedral. There was a schoolhouse and from time to time a schoolmaster. Around 1769 the hospital burned down and a new building was erected of two stories around three sides of a courtyard. The architect was E. S. Reynolds, 1725-1779, of Trowbridge. In 1968 the building was designated as Grade II listed. The hospital continues as a registered charity. On the high street is a small octagonal village lockup or blind house, probably dating from the 18th century. A parish council known as Heightsbury, Imber, and Nook covers this parish and the neighboring parish of Nook. Local government services are provided by Wiltshire Council, which has its offices in nearby Trowbridge. The A36 road bypasses the village to the north. An Ordnance Survey map of 1958 shows the road's earlier route along the high street. The Wessex Main Line Railway, opened here in 1856, runs to the south, and until 1955 there was a station on the Heightsbury-Titherington Road.